Hey, Crescendix uploaded a new video. Art of the surreal, the rise of internet aesthetics. Aesthetics of the internet. What could this way? Blah, blah, blah. The internet is home to many things. It sure is. Good. So what the heck is... is I'm guessing this is gameplay, right? Why walls? Has been used for many things. It is a, a lot of things. source of information yep. and knowledge. And a creative sure outlet for people who want to share said creativity. Yeah. The internet has also created a lot of things that didn't seem to exist before. Coming music in Nowadays, the background, eh? if you are interested in something, you can easily find hundreds of people interested in the same thing who Probably. are willing to talk about most it. Most of it, most of the time. I think that fact alone, the fact that no matter how obscure my interests are, there will always be people who share it. I mean, it also depends on what you're interested in. Like, for example, flags. There's hundreds of thousands of people interested in flags. <laughs> I have flag collection, blah, blah, blah. Well, another thing, for example, I have a bit of a... Bus ticket collection, like paper tickets, boom, I collect those. Obviously, I'm not the only one, but there's probably not a lot of people who collect bus tickets and don't throw them out. Like paper bus tickets. Probably wouldn't be able to find many people with that. While with flag, there's more people. So, you know, like a difference in how many people are interested in this? How many people are interested in anime? How, people, how many people are interested in manga? A bit lower because anime, you, you can watch that well with manga, you gotta read and all this stuff. And you know, it, there, there's tears to it, like the amount of people are interested in a thing. But still, a lot of people are interested in multiple things, especially through the internet, you can find out who are. Uh... Things created by the internet every day. Things that didn't exist before. Things mm. like internet aesthetics. I mean, it, has, it, it has the word internet in it. <laughs> That's not here, six. Internet sure. aesthetics can be many Minecraft. things. Minecraft. So many things. Of course, now my neck starts to hurt a bit in the inside. Greg, what what did you do, Greg? What what did he, what did Greg do? <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Focus. It's hard to stab a certain definition for what they are. Mm. Aesthetics like weird. Core okay, that that one's so definitely out there. That'd be hard you know, to like, find anybody. The three three D renders are especially like older looks. Probably gonna be into the aesthetics. Yeah, actually, interested in it from the in early two thousands. Online, so, however, uh, you can find a community core. of people interested Bruh. in anything. The word aesthetic <laughs> itself is also something to go over. Mm. Throughout most of history, the word aesthetic has been used as a noun, a branch so of philosophy concerned mm. with the study the or thinker. the appreciation no, not. of beauty. However, online at least, the word is now mostly used as an adjective to describe things like images or rooms. Oh, that's so Why is the term aesthetic, aesthetic even used oh. in the first place? The word aesthetic is so Clearly, aesthetic. it's supposed to be a stand-in for beautiful or pretty. Oh. Something that's aesthetic is much Pixley. more different than Pixlar. something that's beautiful. Is it? The Norwegian fjords are maybe. beautiful. A city with uh, no... No, 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 come on. Come on. Th those fjords are not aesthetic. But there is a certain aesthetic to them. <laughs> the English language ruins the brain. Uh, aesthetic meaning one thing, but also another thing. Uh, there's a certain Norwegian aesthetic to this image. But it, it, it itself is not aesthetic. It is beautiful. It's, pr it's, it's pretty. It is magnificent. But it is not aesthetic. Oh no. What does the language succumb to? Oh, more. A city with no people snowing at oh, night. Oh, that's is an aesthetic. aesthetic. Oh yeah. So why are some things aesthetic Pixel and lots. some aren't? What in real makes life. something aesthetic? Hmm. Well, let's start with the most common types. It also depends on the person. Like, what might be something aesthetic to one person might not be to another. To the aesthetics, the core aesthetic, oh. things like oh, weird core, heart. dream core, oh. trauma oh. core, oh, are not all drama. examples of a core aesthetic. No, not drama. These are just why, the why most drama? popular ones. There are plenty of core aesthetics core. that simply take in every- I, I mean, I guess, so apples aren't always red, they're also green. I'm guessing that's apple flavor, right? Is this really apple aesthetic? I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not into the art of aesthetics- aestheticism. ...everyday object and add core at the end and call it an aesthetic. <laughs> Joe so core! Oh it? my gosh! Joe- I could probably make some kind of Joe core. This is then Joe clips! <laughs> I don't know. Internet aesthetic is? is? that? I don't think so. No? I think what an aesthetic truly is, is something that suspends reality. Oh. Whether that be a regular photo with color filters to make the image feel otherworldly, or something completely bizarre <laughs> in a context you wouldn't expect it. In okay, a that, way, that was unexpected. aesthetics like these Ooh. are a somewhat escape from reality. Aesthetics like Dreamcore depict an altered reality, mm. one that feels dreamlike uh, in its approach. That's not dreamy, it that's not my feel. It abstract, like Weirdcore, depicting places and scenarios Bruh. that don't Fine, I guess it's been a while since I last watched a uh, Crescentix video, but I don't remember there being so many memes, so many funny ha-ha's. There, there, there weren't so many ha-ha's last time, although I guess the previous one I reacted to was probably a bit more serious than what well, this one is a bit more ha-ha, a bit more wacky because it's the internet and the internet is wacky, whoa-wah-wah, hijinks. Don't make any sense. 
with accompanying text <laughs> that yeah, makes really. the already lack of context right. even more confusing. Although, I mean, I'm guessing this is actually a real-life thing. You know, it's gotta save on costs, so multiple same buildings, I guess. Using. With a sometimes disturbing undertone. One that isn't... What the heck happened here? Is it like a glitch? What? what? One that isn't obvious Bobby, because of memories. a threat, but rather the lack of one. Oh. Some weird core images feel like they purposely... This could be a 3D render. Or it could be something photographed and then some parts cut off. Like, you know, like this This looks like something cut off. Like, through Photoshop, some of that. ...withhold information far darker than we can <laughs> imagine. I'll say this quiz. Yet, they feel like they have oh. no grander purpose at the same time. A kind of nonsense that we find satisfying. I mean, it is nonsense. You wouldn't really call weird core or dream core images beautiful. Which uh, is again, it depends on the person. Is, is this really not beautiful? It, it, it's a bit beautiful. Although, not in the sense of beauty itself, but in the sense of an aesthetic. It's a beautiful aesthetic. Oh, no! Ah, uh, not the aesthetic again. The of aesthetic comes from. Then, hmm. there are the problems with defining what an aesthetic even is. Exactly. Aesthetics What's the definition? Aesthetics are so broad that it's really hard to say where something stops being an aesthetic. It depends on the person. There you go. Way is an aesthetic. But what else is? Would that also mean architecture is an aesthetic? Why not? If you think about it that way, yeah. brutalist architecture can be considered an aesthetic. Anything can be considered Aww. an aesthetic. Oh, that's an because aesthetic. Of the subjectiveness it's big build. of beauty and art. However, I would personally disagree with what some people call an aesthetic. Really? Like liminal spaces. Me and Is it is that really not aesthetic? I mean it's it's definitely not aesthetically pleasing, it's displeasing. But there we go. Aesthetically displeasing. Why not? Simply find them scary and or nostalgic spaces on the R slash aesthetic <laughs> subreddit. <laughs> I like to call liminal spaces and other images like them abandoned aesthetic. Okay, I guess it's also that also works. Much like trauma Since core, no people. abandoned aesthetics reflects the user's trauma onto images. <laughs> Liminal spaces may reflect oh. feelings of abandonment because no. they themselves have been abandoned. Oh no, nobody Although, in there. I'm probably just reading too far into it. Are you Liminal though? spaces mm -hmm. as an aesthetic doesn't make sense, however. Empty malls and old pools aren't really meant to be empty like this. It's only when you come at a time you're not supposed to, like at night, or it's abandoned, that it turns into a liminal space and therefore aesthetic. Now that we hmm. have a base for what an internet aesthetic might be, not is, but might be, one definition, one possibility, we can finally start looking at some of them. What the are three they? most popular core aesthetics are weird core, dream core, and trauma core. Ah! I won't go into too much detail about oh. weird core since I've already made a video about that, and trauma okay. core is a bit dark for my channel. So for now, safe. I'll be going over We're Dream safe. Core. Dream mm, Core dreamy. is an aesthetic that is very similar to Weird Core upon first glance, but it's different in a lot of ways. Even While weirder? Weird Core tries to be at least a little scary by seeming to purposely hide something disturbing, Dream Core doesn't do that. Uh, Dream it's Core wacky. simply lays everything out in front of you. Wha it's and wacky, it's silly. Than not, without supporting. <laughs> okay, come on. That 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 is a wacky and silly image. Okay, so basically, Dream Core is just wacky, silly hijinks, haha. So oh no, I reuse. Can simply be described as a different flavor of liminal spaces. Dream Core itself is one thing. That doesn't look like Dream Core. That's Nightmare Core. Ah, uh, that is not Dream. That is not Dream. Dream, where's Dream? Doo -doo -doo -doo. The first one tries its best to be weird, to create a false dream like reality that feels disturbing <laughs> in a way that's hard to point well, that out. That is weird. Environments and situations. Okay, that, that's not weird. That's wacky. That's just dumb. Dreaming. Actually, that, that's dumb. The second type of Dream Core image usually depicts some being or something that you're meant to Hi. focus on. Mostly eyes with wings for some reason. Because uh, angel, biblical angel maybe, but except a bit easier to make. There can also be other things. A lot of dream core images oh. depict what is known as a biblically accurate angel. Oh, come on, come on. Biblically that's... accurate angels are pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much what the actual Bible describes angels. I've actually read the Bible. I can't say I'm not Christian, but I also can't say I am Christian. I don't know. Whatever. And it's pretty disturbing. This doesn't matter that much. Angels in the Bible mm. are described as Boy, floating man. eye covered wheels that sparkle like jewels. <sighs> Not usually how you <sighs> imagine an angel. And it's one of the reasons that dream core Sun images depict so many lights. eyes. These two types of dream core images both work to give a feeling of derealization. <laughs> Derealization is a feeling of detachment from reality, and that's really what you are in a dream. Are you, are you telling me it's another form of escapism? Oh no, 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 no. People try to escape too much. I've already encountered the world of Isekai. Isekai is literally just escapism. Ah, I know this is another form of escapism, escaping from the daily lives. Ah. Detached. I you know, personally the prefer the more liminal-esque dream core images. <laughs> 
as, at least to me, they better depict the dreamlike qualities that the aesthetic is mm. built on. Dreamcore can also be uniquely escapist. The Bro, popularization what? of dreams. I have not watched this! I have not watched this video! This is one of the rare videos where, I do, um, where I'm doing the reaction without pre-watching! I'm saving this video for the reaction! What the heck? Dreamcore <laughs> can reflect dissatisfaction with life itself and the longing to simply exist mm, in a dream. Dreamland. Dreamcore can also be nostalgic. Dreamcore images will often have saturated Yeah, tell it the the sun colors and the familiar or almost nostalgic Ooh, places. Rainbow. This is like bedrooms Again. and playgrounds. Oh. All places that you might have visited as a child. I guess I maybe visited it when I was super young. Like really young. A bunch in the summer times when I was at my grandparents. Probably. Feel almost strange in this context. Sometimes in Dreamcore images, just one or two things are off. I mean, obviously something is off here. <laughs> in the not, it's off. In Dreamcore images, reality simply doesn't make sense. Beep, boop, bop. It feels like it's trying to be nostalgic. Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me. AI. This could possibly be co a bit compared a bit with AI, like trying to make something but making it off. But much like I our guess. own memories, it's flawed. And doesn't actually yeah, AI depict flawed. those experiences oh, no. fully. Only small glimpses of them. Oh. Like a fever dream that you can only kind of remember mm. after waking up. But the but final details you? are missing. Another thing of note is the music that is commonly associated with Dreamcore. Like a, a lot dreamy, of the Dreamcore music off, isn't probably. really exclusive to the aesthetic, however. Oh? The sounds of Dreamcore music can also be attributed to Weirdcore in the same way. Which oh. is why you'll see videos that claim to be Weirdcore. I feel like I've listened to some of those like, Weirdcore Dreamcore playlists. That was probably a while ago. I, I don't re re really remember. Slash Dreamcore playlists slash. instead of just one or the other. These tracks often use 8 bit OSTs from older games like Humaniki or LSD Dream Emulator. This makes these. What? what kind of title is that? LSD Dream em What? These tracks nostalgic. Not just to the. Okay, this feels like Undertale. Gas, but no. Also, Fire Nuts Freddy's purple guy, except he's Played red. Those games, what? But also to people who grew up with this era of gaming. I did not grow up with this era of gaming. Frave and Minecraft. Frave as in Flash games. It's familiar 8-bit uh, sound effects that were a product of old technology. Only now, Real. it's being turned into something else. Why? Something more disturbing. And reverb these songs oh, no. to make them feel more otherworldly. Not slow more down. It, tracks also tend to... Lo-fi. sound like the lo-fi hip-hop beats that I'm sure you're familiar with. I am familiar, but I didn't actually- I've never really listened much to lo-fi girls somehow. I mostly just skipped all that. But in a pixelated way. Oh. And one that feels more disturbing Oh no, not floating man. Wait a minute! Combine Wait a minute! Quadeca! Uh, fractions of Infinity! Ah! Uh, there might be something there. I wonder if some kind of aspect is similar to this. Find this with there. the nostalgia and the slow reverbed versions a lot Maybe of these just tracks houses. have. And you can see why they fit the Dreamcore aesthetic perfectly. Speaking of aesthetic oh. music... Now that's an aesthetic. What kind of era would this be called? I mean, obviously this is 80s, right? Because Sunset, but the Mountain, but the... I want to say 70s because of Pong and stuff, I don't know. Vaporwave is another aesthetic that's... Oh, vaporwave, there we go. Hands out. Although that was uh, that felt like not vaporwave, but something a bit of a conglomeration of vaporwave and something else. I don't know. Has a lot of music attached to it, oh. and the music can also be described 80s, as you know? very aesthetic. These songs, however, also have covers and album art what? depicting what most people would. Why? Why the toilet? No. Called the visual vaporwave what? aesthetic, and that's what I'm going to talk about here. Vaporwave images Windows often 96? depict themes from the 80s and 90s. Uh, Pretty much earlier. anything nostalgic about those time periods. I never played Super Mario. I mean, I have played, but I've never actually played it, like, finished it and stuff. I only played the first level. Actually, wait a minute. I have this super cheap knockoff Game Boy thing. Hey! Hey, this, this, this is familiar, right? Super Mario! Yeah, I haven't really played it much or at all because I haven't really gone to any trips anywhere. Mostly been staying inside and going to school and stuff. A 10 euro console, whatever. Are replicated in vaporwave. So I guess especially I old there. technology. Things old, like VHS old technology, tapes, old, old games, game consoles, and computers with outdated hardware. Why? Often Aqua, front and center water, in what, vaporwave. Why? Other things like old commercials and old anime are also used anime. to reinforce this nostalgia. Yeah. It doesn't have to be hardware either. Although, is it. Like with anime, a lot of it, is it really 80s or is it more 90s? Because I'm guessing it's probably more 90s. It kind of all conglomerates, con converges, con <laughs> together into software like Windows into, 96 into the, pop ups into are also often used in vaporwave to make it more nostalgic to the people who grew up in those times. 
another reason. Although with Vaporwave, I guess it is an internet aesthetic and stuff, but it's like a nostalgic internet aesthetic. Like an older internet aesthetic. Because it's probably also newer internet aesthetics. Vaporwave is so probably. captivating. Wow. It's its color palette. Focusing on pinks and blues, what? making vaporwave images feel dreamlike, much oh. like Dreamcore. Situations that wouldn't really make sense in the real world. I mean, come on, this would make sense if someone programmed the this. I'm guessing it would usually display some kind of ad or something like that, but programmed incorrectly. And blah, 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 error, error, blah, 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 blah. These dreamlike quality. <laughs> Windows 95 soda and gum. Oh my gosh. Do I want that? No, I, I don't want that. That's like, still gonna be 30 years old. Oh no. This can represent I don't want a lot that. of things. But I think combined with nostalgia, the dreamlike oh. aesthetics of Vaporwave act as a way to reminisce on the 80s and 90s. But not I say 90s all. It just feels like a blend of yearning for the past. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, fine. All right, fine. But like, why? <laughs> is, is it Chinese? But like, with a font or Japanese sort of font? Korean with a font? No, is it gibberish? It might just be gibberish. I don't know. Past and being in a fever dream. Yeah, I that is fever dream. I personally wasn't born in a time where I could oh. see and use these old technologies. But somehow, Same. Vaporwave still feels nostalgic. Vaporwave feels like I mean, it just feels old. Past in a dream. The weird effects that Vaporwave oh. puts in front of you. Actually, no, it, it doesn't feel old. It feels outdated. My, technically, the result of your it brain is technically not outdated. Remembering a dream, anamoya, nostalgia. First time I heard that word. Never known. Cut. Liminal spaces are often depicted in Vaporwave imagery. Huh? That's not Vaporwave. 3D cannot be Vaporwave like that. That is most definitely not Vaporwave. That is silly wacky skeleton. Blah 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 blah. Great. What are you doing with a katana? <laughs> But it, finally, short katana. That, that's that kind of short. Why? Mostly because they fit hand in hand together so well. This image again? They both share dreamlike qualities. Jeez, and why? Can be nostalgic. Even it's other relaxing. aesthetics. Oh like no! Cool Wait! Don't tell me! Don't tell me! This image was like in in his previous video the about water or something. Something. Liminal pools are often. No, not the pools. Imagery, often with a changed color oh. to the aesthetic. I, I thought the 90s, this wouldn't be scary. example of depictions of liminal spaces in Vaporwave. They're neon colors and nostalgic neon. feel that perfectly match with Vaporwave. Another wait, so, weirder aspect Okay, so wait. Neon is not Vaporwave, but like a part. Or I guess a connected part. But not Vaporwave itself. Vaporwave is the use okay. of Greek statues. Oh yeah, right. They that are thing. used as an artistic hmm. choice in a lot of Vaporwave images. It's hard to say why though. What? Since I doubt- Funny, wacky, hijinks, that's why. No, I did not want to activate the hand. No, did you activate the hand? Ah. Uh... That most of you are nostalgic for ancient Greece. <laughs> oh, My yeah. theory is that the aesthetic <laughs> yeah. of marble Greek statues clashes so heavily with the neon yeah, it, vibe it, of Yeah, it's just a huge clash. That they end up actually complementing each other, if mm. that makes sense. Consumer... Also, wait, was that fu uh, Mount Fuji in the background of the it's image? Like, also a big aspect in Vapor also, Wave that can you please explain why so much Japanese? Hmm? Is of anime? Or is it other reasons? Actually, it might just be because because of all the neon signs and all the stuff in Japan, like in the 90s and stuff like that. I guess a lot of gaming came from Japan, especially Nintendo. It's going over. It's probably because for a lot of that. people, it's one of the main things that makes Vaporwave unique from other aesthetics. Oh my god, Pepsi. Pepsi. Pepsi man! Vaporwave, like Blockbuster, I never, I never had Blog, Pepsi I mean, never went Block, Vaporwave images Pepsi man! Wait, no, Silver what? With almost a cyberpunk-like aesthetic, which also goes along. Wait a minute! But cyberpunk is supposed to be futuristic! What the heck? Along with the idea of consumerism. Vaporwave, at its core, is a lot like Dreamcore in the way that it's hard to Four. describe. It seems mm. to have a more show don't Although, no, no, Vaporwave might be a bit easier to describe, maybe? It's a bit more realistic-ish? Hell, way of maybe. presenting maybe. this message. Maybe, 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 oh. You can immediately recognize a Vaporwave image, but it's much harder that to describe. That doesn't... No, that's not Vaporwave. No, 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 that's not Vaporwave. Maybe Dreamcore. Dreamwave, that's Dreamwave, not Vaporwave. Kind of no, oh, I love Pepsi, I never drank it. Another thing that can be thought of as an aesthetic is anime. old anime. Anime, old I've anime, never watched that. I've never, okay, I, yeah, even though I've watched all 1000 different anime, I've never, I don't really, I haven't really watched any old anime. The, the only anime I, I can remember that's like pre 2000s would be Great Teacher. Oh, oh, sorry with oh, but yeah, I, I don't even remember. He, he was teacher, but he was also delinquent, bam, 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 but also teaching the kids stuff. Yeah, good, teaching, Brown teaching good. 90s, 
you know the look. Pikachu. That lo-fi look with the high bloom, all animated. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure Good Kid has published videos of like the lo-fi vibe with old animes. And old animes like Akira are making our uh, watch Akira recovery nowadays, both in the form of aesthetics. Like, yeah, the problem with this old anime is that it's too old. It's too outdated. The animation is bad because they had budget constraints and all that stuff. Uh, and I can't really watch it. Oh no! Anime oh, the brain. has been brought up a lot on the r slash aesthetic subreddit. I think the love for older life, life. anime is some parts nostalgia, but I think the real reason is just how damn good it looks. No, 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 it does not look good. It looks outdated and bad. I mean, it, it looks aesthetic. It has an aesthetic look. It, it does not look good. Light, please stop shutting Myself down. Myself included, that it looks even better than anime that comes out now. Eh, no, 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 no. Maybe it's because I grew up with this. Okay, fine. Maybe this, this doesn't look that good. Yeah, maybe it's because I grew up with... No, actually. The anime I remember growing up with would be Pokemon, especially Gen 5. I guess Dragon Ball, but the other one's a bit uh, iffy. I did watch One Punch Man back in like 2015, 16, some of that. Most of the anime I watched was in 2020, 2021. Only because I've watched a lot of anime in a short amount of time, I don't have that nostalgia feel for anime because I consume so much anime in a short amount of time. So it's like all the same. It's all a blur. Old anime just has a certain lo-fi feel. I mean, yeah, def definitely lo-fi feel, lo-fi look it and stuff. But nah, come on, that's gross. The VHS effects, the vintage glow of bright objects, it all makes it feel so original. <laughs> Aesthetics can also be found in architecture. As I said earlier in the video, architecture also technically counts as an aesthetic. I mean, it's not technically, but it is an aesthetic. Especially weird as the name suggests, is brutal. These harsh buildings made entirely out of concrete, seemingly built for just function and not for looks. Also for fun. Looked at as sort of an aesthetic, not to see some beauty in it. Despite the design, a bit, okay, yeah, actually, design. okay, yeah, that, that, that one's nice, like, when it all comes together and look, actually it looks nice, it's nice. Which is in stark contrast to Bozar architecture. Although that, that's not nice, that's magnificent, kind of. Of designing a building. Blah, 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 but instead of, is still mm, used, it's blah, blah. architecture feels almost honest in a way. Oh? It's not a towering glass tower, Bleh. nor is it a detailed complex oh, with that, that, That's too windows. much, that's too much. It's simply what it was designed for, Mwah. and nothing else. Mwah. Brutalist structures yeah, that's enough. are Okay, that, that's bad, that's bad, probably because... Although, I mean, a big reason why that's bad is because of the stripes. Because bad coloring, like the bad color tone. ...designed to serve absolute purpose and not to look pretty. Although, this counts as more of an aesthetic rather than an internet aesthetic. Yeah, it's, it's not really internet. It's a place it... of limitless learning okay, that's the internet creativity. because pretty. And nothing says that better than these aesthetics. When a group of so many people can come together on pretty people. much anything, truly great things can come out of it. And also bad internet things. Internet aesthetics themselves are a natural evolution of art, much like surrealism was hey. in the twenties and thirties. And with the vast amount of people coming Just together to make these yeah. aesthetics, new ones are being created all the time. Found that older people don't really understand these aesthetics as much. Oh no, don't tell me I'm too young. Don't tell me I'm too young to understand. Oh no. There's no way I'm too old at the at the age 20. I think there's good reason behind this. Internet. They, they didn't grow up with the internet. The internet all of a sudden showed up for them. While us, we grew up with the internet. We get it. We in the a club. A lot of these aesthetics have the main appeal of nostalgia. And if you weren't born in the '90s yeah. to the late 2000s, I bet late a lot of 2000s. these aesthetics wouldn't work as well for you. So it isn't universal. But even then, to the people that Thank can you. appreciate these aesthetics, they truly are something else. I really think that the pandemic Why? had a lot to do with this. I don't think Not as many of these communities would exist without the pandemic locking mm. everybody inside their homes. I mean, they would, they would exist, they, they just probably wouldn't be as big. And with the world changing so drastically, and all the problems we have, it might be good sometimes to look back on the good old days. The simpler times, when we were all young and naive. A sort of collective mindset of longing for the past. I mean, anime kind of ruined it for me in the way that I do some sometimes wish I could, okay, send my brain back in time to when I was seven years old so I could to do a bunch of things differently. Like, I, I wouldn't think, I would not enjoy the uh, a piece of me, child, blah, 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 I don't have to worry about stuff, but instead I would go to work. Well, at least that's in my brain. I would probably uh, be lazy, I know. Being visualized by these aesthetics. I'm still lazy. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't appreciate right now. In 2040, maybe we'll have new aesthetics. Or even more advanced Not art maybe, forms definitely. that play off of nostalgia for the 2020. Appreciate right now. Wow. Because you'll never experience it in the same way. 
ever again. Just like I'll never experience this video ever again because I've seen it. So the, if I watch it the second time, it's, it's going to be a different experience. And everything you experience, you won't be able to experience the same way again because it's going to be a bit of a different experience than before. When you really think about it, Chris Hendix has his own aesthetics for his videos. It is a certain aesthetic for his videos. And I don't mean just simple images, but with the, also the music, but whatever. All, all that coming together, boom, aesthetic. I don't know, reaction done. Why why is this recording twice the length of the original video? What the heck? Uh, I should have excused more. Greg, everybody! He's Gregging. And Greg wants me to tell you to... I hope you enjoyed the video. If you please leave it, subscribe, 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 notification bell, comment, and I should react to. Bye. Greg. G Greg says bye as well.